Oh, just you wait. You know what's in these cups? 56 silkworms! That has a nice ring to it. But it won't be that much for long because today is the November Reptiliatus silkworm feeding video. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, we're doing the November silkworm feeding video. As I said before, we literally have 56 silkworms in this bin that I've moved out and transferred. They've been munching away on mulberry chow and they're ready to be consumed. So why is it that silkworms are such amazing feeder insects? Besides the fact that they produce silk clothing for people, true story, look into it. These insects contain some of the highest levels of protein, unlike me, found in any feeder insect. That's right, there's so much protein richness in these larvae that your animals can benefit from. Not only this, they are high in levels of calcium, magnesium, iron and they contain many vitamin b groups as well as an enzyme called serapeptase that helps reduce inflammation in the body funny enough humans actually create a synthetic form of serapeptase learned and discovered through the silkworms to help us also have reduced inflammation in our bodies so if they're cool enough for us to use they definitely are beneficial to our animals as well. Hopefully I've convinced you now that they're worthwhile. And I mean, if you've been watching the channel, you're probably even annoyed with how much I tell people, but hey, you have to consider that some people have just come across my content. Or are we gonna give them the pep talk, all right? It's important. With that being said, we got the 56 silkworms here. My name is Dion, I make videos about specialty pets, such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, seeing all the incredible animals in this room that I call my pet family, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I know I'm best to post one or two videos a week, several YouTube shorts. Oh, I think I just got through that in one take. <laughs> all right guys, first animals we are going to feed in today's feeding video are my Tribulonotus gracilis, red-eyed crocodile skinks. Sunny and Sappy are here. Let's do a little drumming. Let them know that we're here to bring some food. And usually this works. Well, in any case, we'll try tongs now. Here to join me. That's uh, Sunny. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You gonna come have a silkworm? No? Okay, let's try that again. There, you can have it all, let's put it there. Shy guy, I tell ya. Alrighty, next up are some of my Ceratophrys or Ceratophrys cornutas, the Suriname horn frogs. Hello. Oops, well, <laughs> that works. Yum, yum, yum. Hi, little buddy. Would you like a silkworm? You want to eat that? Hey, yeah. There you go. There you go. That one's really cool. It has some dark earthy tone colors. Hello there. Would you like a silkworm as well? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. No? Okay. That's fine. Basil, I promise you're gonna eat in this sec, dude. Just take it easy. What about this little guy? Like a mini avocado. Would you like a silkworm? Nice. Good job, little buddy. Okay, here is avocado. Oh! You love the silkworms, huh? Go for it, avocado. Yay! 
Well done. I love this frog. It's just so beautiful. Would you like another one? You can have another one, avocado. Yeah, at least wait for me to be filming properly. <laughs> and you can see some of the silk that the silkworm produced there, the strands. I guess it's good fiber? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's move on. Excuse me, Mr. Bazil. Yes, you. Patience is a virtue. I promise you're gonna eat shortly. I'm telling you guys, he only does that when I'm sitting at this table feeding something else. Otherwise, he's just sitting and watching. When he sees the food and he's like, uh, that's supposed to be for me. Okay, buddy, you're gonna eat. Don't worry. Look at this guy. He's going nuts. Are you gonna eat? He's so handsome. What a stunning animal. All that blue coming in. These are, as you probably guessed, my Nola Sequestris Porior. Blue Beauty Anoles. And it's time to feed them. They usually love silkworms. Oops. Come on. Oof. Sorry, that angle's not so great. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit better. Would you be so kind as to come join us for more silkworm snacks? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> wow, she is pretty intense. There you go. Okay, sir, don't worry. Don't worry, we're feeding you now. Don't worry. He's over here going, what the heck? Where is my silkworm? There you go, mister. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Tasty. Video fog up Emilio's are calling right now. There you go, buddy. There you go. Mm, mm, mm. Handsome boy. That is one pretty lizard. All right, let's move on. All right, friends, next we are feeding some of my Geomyta Spengleri black breasted leaf turtles. This here is Littlefoot. And this is probably going to be one of the last things he eats before going into winter dormancy. That's if he wants to eat. We'll see. He's kind of hit and miss, but he seems interested. The googly man is coming. Look at those cute eyes. There you go. Oh. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's doing his thing. He's dropping it now. Poor silkworm. We'll get it eventually, but it's, uh, it's a slow process for this boy, unfortunately. Come on. Hey, yeah, yeah, little foot. Okay, well, let's move on to another turtle. Okay, so next we have Spike, who is my newest Spangler eye that you guys named. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, buddy, how you doing? you doing there, buddy? Would you like a silkworm? There you go. There you go, bud. He like fell down the side of the hill. Things you do for food though, right? Mm, mm, mm. He loves his worms, I'll tell you that. But as all leaf turtles do, they tend to go eat and hiding most of the time, so I wouldn't be surprised if he runs off with that. While he's eating that, let's go see if E.T.'s hungry. Hey, buddy. How you doing? 
Now a silkworm. I'm gonna miss you in a few weeks. Oh. Yeah, these guys are gonna be put down for the winter soon. Of course, he's already making a mess of his freshly cleaned water dish. Welcome to turtle keeping, my friends. You got no idea what it is all about unless you have them yourself. Hi guys, here's Autumn. She clearly wants some silkworms, so let's give her one here. Hey Autumn, climb back up, you can do it. Here you go, keep climbing. You can do it. Hi girl. Oh. Enjoy. What a lovely animal. I love these turtles. They're so fun. Yeah, Yoda, I'd give you one too. I know you're out because you think I'm feeding everybody, which I am, but I know you're not going to eat it, so we'll try. I'll give you a chance every time, but you always disappoint. <laughs> Here you go. Would you like a silkworm? you want it, it's yours, but you're just going to do that weird thing where you close your eyes and blink like it's super bright and inedible. Huh? Do you want this? Want to check it out? No, exactly. I don't know what it is. She just doesn't want them. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you something a bit more creative. If you could be any of my pet reptiles, which one would you choose and why? As always, I'll give your comment a heart. We can engage in a little bit of a conversation. I would probably choose either Sabzi or Basil. I really love how adventurous they are, how inquisitive they are, how agile they are. They can stand up on two legs, arch back and through, weave and maneuver different obstacles and, and cage decor. They have a cool prehensile tail and they can grab things and move so fast, leap across the room. They're fun, they're like monkey lizards. But I wanna know what you think. Maybe you like Sappy, maybe you like Tiki, maybe you like Jabba and Leela, maybe you like Lunchbox because you enjoy eating and sitting around. There's nothing wrong with that. Just be nice to me because Lunchbox wants to eat me, so hopefully you don't wanna do that. I look forward to seeing your responses. Let's get back to the video. You know what I wanted to try, guys? And I haven't given you an update on these animals in so long. Yeah, these are my Phylobates terabilis. Uh, the the mints that I got a few years ago as tiny little froglets, but I have a few very small silkworms And if you don't know already these frogs will eat large prey like they're not like a lot of other dart frogs that have to eat springtails and and uh, Fruit flies these guys will eat spiders. They'll eat all sorts of things. I am not Even concerned to think that these frogs would probably try to eat this tiny silkworm. So let's see if anyone's going to show interest in that and come eat it. I'm confident someone will. There's four frogs. Oh, there we go. It's already starting. We already have some interest. They're very bold frogs. Very bold. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> in the depths of the jungle. Oh boy. Uh. Yep, that's a terribilis for you people. That's how they roll. Yep, there it is. He took it. Like it was nobody's business. These are pixie frogs in dart frog bodies, I say sometimes. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we have a few more tiny little silkworms. Maybe we'll offer them another one and see if someone else wants to eat one. But I do want to just double check first that they can handle this before I start giving them all silkworms. Looks like he's going to be fine there. He's just rearranging himself and he has a springtail on his head. It's kind of funny. Yeah, no, he's good. That's hilarious. 
I love these frogs. They're they're crazy, I tell you. They are crazy. Hello there. Anyone interested in a silkworm? Come on over. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, these frogs are so cool. They're little aliens. Whoa! You took it while I wasn't looking. Sorry, guys. Ay, ay, ay. They're hilarious. Look at that. Look at that frog. Yep, they are opportunistic, my friends. They are something else. Happy Terribilis. I love these. Look at their little nails. Their little fingertips. It looks like someone painted them. Oh, they're hilarious. All right, my little alien. Enjoy your day. Thanks for cooperating and eating a big snack. So listen, Nona, I know you're schnoozing right now. If ever heard of breakfast in bed, I'd like to give you a silkworm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, I love this girl. Enjoy. All right, everybody, it's Toke time. Mr. Teeks, where are you? Mr. Tiki, ah, there you are, buddy. We got some silkworms for you. Tiki, he sees a reflection. Yeah, there you go. Come on, good boy. Hanging out behind his nice, cool, new warm spot upgrade. If you didn't see the video, link's up above here. We added this whole new extension to give them more usable space, more hides, and a hot spot there with some slate. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Oops. Good job, buddy boy. Love this gecko so much. He's so good. Look at the colors. Yes, you are impressive, sir. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. All right. Torch, is that you over there? It is. Hey, Torch. Come on over, girl. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. She loves her silkworms, too. Hey, come back. I got another one for you. Torch. Come on. Yep, up here. Oh, nope, that's a leaf. You can do it. Come on. Keep climbing. I don't want to really say hi to you. Mmm. Good girl. Hey, Tiki, get out of here, dude. No bullying your lady, okay? Hey, Tiki. Don't be mean to Torch. You cheeky man. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. All right, everybody, here is Mr. Basil, the green tree monitor lizard. Hi, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, boy. Slow down. The mister is going off in the crocodile skink and start frog unit there. Basil. There you go. Back home you go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. All right, we're going to prepare the toy here, the classic. And we'll drop that silkworm in there. And then we'll hang the toy up here. Oops. I am so sorry, silkworm. My bad. Okay, there. There we go. You can see the silkworms in there. A little bit of enrichment for this animal. And he knows exactly what to do. Comes over, checks things out. He's like, oh, 
there is food in here. Are you gonna get inside and get your silkworm, buddy? Hmm? He'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. There you go, Basil. Good job, buddy. And then of course there's the bird's nest. And so for this one, if you haven't already seen, we just take silkworms, drop them in the nest like so. And then the monitors <clears throat> will go in there and collect them and eat them. There you go, buddy. There, go check out your nest. Basil, look, look at this. What's that? Oh, what's in there? What's in there? What'd you find, buddy boy? What did you find in your nest? Hey, you got a silkworm. But not just one. There's two in there. You gotta go back for the other one. You gotta go back. Go back and check the nest. You got it. There you go. There you go, Basil. Good job, buddy. All right, buddy, you got it all. No more food. You had your silkworms. Yeah. It's time for me to take the basket. I'm gonna take the basket away, okay? Thank you, sir. All right. Have a nice day. Hello everybody, we're back. Here is Sabzi, the green tree monitor, Varanus Prasinus. Oh yeah, yeah, holy macaroni. She is not playing around. Mm -mm -mm. She loves her silkworms. Lucky for us, they're not too big, so hopefully she won't even be able to make a mess if she wanted to. All right. Time to bring in a toy for her. We'll prepare that like this. She's already eagerly <laughs> watching. Sabzi. There you go. That wasn't honestly so hard, was it? Uh, you cheated. You waited for it to practically crawl out. <laughs> okay, everybody. Welcome to the Shinisaurus Paludarium, in case you've never seen it. Time to feed my Shinisaurus crocodilurus Chinese crocodile lizards. Notice my male is out. See if he's interested in eating for us. Here he comes. Hey, buddy. Ah. Silkworm, let go. There. As you can see, he is shedding. Different parts still flaking off his tail is definitely. Truly little dinosaurs, I tell you. These animals are so cool. Alright, I'm gonna see if any of the females are around. Rexy usually is hiding in here as you all know. But sometimes she's all the way over here. Hard to say, hard to know. Yeah, I'm not so sure where everyone is today, so I think we're just gonna feed my male. Go ahead, buddy. We'll get another one. Nice. Well done. Oh, 
All right. Awesome. Hey, hello. No way. Hi. You want this? No, come back. Here. That was awesome. Triple and notice no Virginia. White eyed crocodile skink. Here's another pair of white eyed crocodile skinks. Let's try that again. Anyone here? Oh, I saw you. Come on over. Don't be shy. Yep, come on out. That was awesome. <laughs> well done. Here it goes. Oh. Goodbye. As always friends, as part of today's video, I want to take a sincere moment to thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. Thank you so much everybody for your additional support. Those of you who always ask, how can I support Reptiliatus further than the most important thing, which is watching my videos, giving them a thumbs up if you enjoyed them, and commenting. You can become a patron for as little as $2 a month, where you'll unlock a whole skew of exclusive content, a direct line of communication with me, and several other cool perks. There's even a chat room, you can do questions where I do exclusive Q&A videos for the community there, and more. As part of becoming a patron, you get an in-video shout out. So today, we're going to be thanking our newest patron since my last thank you shout outs. Today, we're thanking Sophia, Anne-Marie, Emma, and then random Tashi vids, as well as Drakath. Thank you so much guys for becoming my newest patrons. I look forward to conversing with you more there on the community and thank you all for your consideration and how you can support the channel further. For more information, you can check out the link in the video description down below. All right, let's get back to it. Everybody, it is nighttime. One thing I really would like to try is to see if any of these Thinodactyl Synodactylus will eat silk ones. I think we can do that because we have some that are so tiny. So gonna go ahead now and see if any of them are interested potentially eating one. Normally they're not, but there's always an exception. Hello. I mean, see, someone is clearly interested. So let's see what happens here. Oh my goodness. No way. All right. Now this is technically a synodactylus. Oh, nope, see, he changed his mind. Okay, I got too excited too soon. What about you? Would you like one? Are you interested at all? I got a little too carried away. That was technically the Stenodactylus petrii. But uh, let's see, what about you? All right, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody? Somebody, it's all yours. Go for it. Poor silkworm. Anybody gonna go? No? Interesting, very interesting. They just don't like them. They go for the wax worms, but not for these. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. How about one of my male Cynodactylus petrii? You want a silkworm, buddy? Are you possibly interested in eating that insect? Yeah, I don't know. Not particularly promising, it seems. All right, we're gonna try again. This time in another quarantine enclosure with females. Awesome. You guys, oh, see, you don't like them. What's up with that? See, that's what you get. Too bad, so sad. And there you go. She wanted it. 
So funny how these animals can have an acquired taste like that. And that's how it is, you know, I get people that message me saying, oh, my crested gecko doesn't like silkworms. And unfortunately, that's sometimes the case. Some of us don't like tomatoes. Some of us don't like onions. You know, some of us don't like avocados. What's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. But uh, that same thing happens with these reptiles. Some of them just don't like silkworms. Well, she had a good meal. Wow. And you? You're picky. You don't get to eat. That's how it works, I guess. Sorry. Almost forgot to top off their water dish. There you go. All right, guys. Here's one of the little baby toke geckos. Let's see if we can... There you go. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here, torch. There you go, little baby. Ah, ah, ah. Torch. I think the baby's good. Oh, we got Tiki coming to inspect. So funny enough, we have sold the majority of baby tokes. There's that one, and there's one other juvenile somewhere in here. And those are the only toke gecko babies we have in here besides the eggs that are deep in here. So it's going to be kind of vacant in here. There's only four geckos living in here right now, which is pretty crazy. It's been a long time since we've had so few tokes, but I think it's a good thing. More room for all the animals, right? All right, Torch, come on. Here you go. Come on. You can have a silkworm. Yep, there you go, girl. Mmm, nom nom nom. No, not you, Tiki. You had plenty already today. You had plenty earlier, sir. My oh my, the nerve. I'm not sure where that other juvenile is. I think he always hides in this cork hollow most of the time. Tiki. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Let's see if we can. Hello, anybody in here? Ah, there we go. He came. <laughs> what? Get a closer look for you guys. I think that's as best of a shot as we're gonna get. It's too narrow of a passage in there. Fun. Okay, next up we got Pingu the Crested Gecko. Come here, girl. Would you like a silkworm? Come on over. Oh, wow. Okay. She did not waste any time there. She loves her silkworms, let me tell you. Mm -mm -mm. Good. Man, this gecko is lovely. All right. <laughs> See you later, girl. Okay, next we've got Jab on Leela. Oh, Leela knows it's dinner time. She's already on her way over. Leela. Hi. Here you go. You want a silkworm? Come on. Come on over. Hey, there you go. Nice job, girl. Mm -mm, good. All right, let's see. Where Mr. Jabba's at. Hey, there he is. Oof, that's a rough shed, dude. Going in a shed. Okay, let's see if he'll eat one. He did last time. He surprised us. Mr. Jabba, would you like a silkworm? No way. This guy, you just never know what he's going to do. He always seems uninterested in them. And then once in a while, he's like, nope, I like silkworms. I'm going to eat any silkworm you give me. Look, it's tough, buddy. All right, my friends, as always, the grand finale is my Cruziohyla craspidopus fringe leaf frog. I love this little guy. Yeah, what are you doing? Relax, you're gonna be fed, I promise. I raised this frog from a tadpole. 
Clearly, I didn't teach them any manners. They just think everything is food. I'm fairly certain after speaking with uh, someone who keeps a lot of them, that my animal is male. So we shall see. Maybe we'll eventually get a female. Not too concerned about it. I do really just like them as a pet as well, but who knows? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, I love how they use their hands, too. It's so funny. There you go. He can have another one. Mm -mm, good. All right, buddy. Enjoy your night. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. It's always a blast showing you my animals, and I hope you enjoy watching how each of them individually hunts and catches their food. It's a fascinating part of observing our pets and the natural things they do. And feeding them is so engaging, right? So, without further ado, I leave you to it. Thank you again. Thank you so much for your support. Your viewership means the world to me. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you want to see more content pertaining to keeping my animals, specifically more silkworm feeding videos to see them all do the things that they love, which is eating, check out the playlist up above here. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you all next week for more videos. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.